Hey everybody, it's Gamalad. Welcome back to Let's Play Story of Seasons. So you may be asking me, why are you at the at your home menu of Story of Seasons suspended in the background? Well, I'll tell you why. So I was doing some off-screen stuff to get ready for my return to the Story of Seasons series by, you know, tidying up my farm, getting things ready for future episodes I have planned. However, while doing that, I accidentally triggered a flower event for Iris, because what I was trying to do off-screen was get everyone up to a certain amount of friendship points so I can trigger in their flower events a lot faster in, in, in future episodes. Turns out, I apparently, um, Iris had me at higher than I thought I, I was. So, here we are, starting to set off with, with a flower event. Hi, what's up? Oh, hello, Pat. I'm sorry, I, but I'm a bit occupied right now. Could you... Can I ask you to wait a few minutes? Sure, why not? I have nothing else to do. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting so uh, so long, Pat. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. I was gonna give you a gift, but what's up? Hmm? What was I doing? Well, working on a new novel, of course. Ah, uh, of course you are. Would you like to know what, what it's about? Ah, for once I'm actually writing a, a romance, a sad story of unrequited love. Have you ever been in love, Pat? Uh, let's see. Yes, right now, in fact. Oh, how wonderful. If you don't mind, I'd like to, I'd like to hear about it. it. It might help me finish the book. The person you're, this person you're in love with, is it someone, is it someone I know? I'm looking at her. <laughs> well now, you flatter me. Thank you. But you shouldn't take talk about love so lightly. I don't think... Yeah, sorry about that. Say say it too many times too lightly and it'll lose its impact when you when you want it to mean, mean the most. Yeah, sorry about that. You were being... You were being serious? Oh, ho, all right. So you are then. Eh... <laughs> Now then, I'd best get back to, back to work. I do some. I, I need. Uh, I do need need to write. So, could you please come back some other time? Sure, why not? I'm sorry to, to chase you off so soon when when you were kind enough to come at my visit. Have a good day, Pat. Eh, it was no problem. I kind of boxed myself into that corner. Goodness, was that was that simple uh, naivety or something else? I'll have to keep an eye on him. Okay, well, you were just trying to be nice. No need to go stalkerish on us. So, yes, we start off this episode with a flower event. <laughs> oh, well, well, I'm still going to try going back up there to give her her gift. So, yeah. So, yeah, this series has been on a pretty big hiatus because of, well, other projects. I had Valkyria Chronicles going and a few other games. Basically, this Let's Play, I think she likes tea leaves. I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, okay. Now, don't sit down. Wait, there we go. Oh, did you prepare these just for me? I love it, thank you so much. Oh, we have a purple heart now, too. Nice. I wanted to say that right before he sat down, too. But, um, there was been on, it's, it's, it's been on a bit of a hiatus, mainly because of, again, Valkyria Chronicles and some other projects I've been working on. I'm actually recording my next main Let's Play right now, but due to embargoes by the publisher, I can't actually upload any gameplay for a couple of weeks. So, instead of having no videos on my channel, I decided to come back to Story of Seasons because, well, hey, I'd rather get like 10 or tw uh, 20 episodes of this up instead of having no videos up at all. And I kind of will admit, in the off time I've had with this game, I have missed it quite a lot. And I will also be able to see a fishing festival. You know, with my horrible luck with festivals, I never win. But oh, wrong way. That's the, that's the dictator's farm. But, um, yeah, I want to buy some carrots because I'm actually out of those. But, um, yeah, so basically, I don't know where this Let's Play is going to go, in all honesty. But, you know, might as well just go see which way the wind blows. Um, I, but I, my, my big plan was, um, was to show off a lot more of the buildings and how to optimize your farms better. That's where I'm, that's where I'm at right now. Um, let's see, where are, let's see, tools, seeds, ooh, what should, actually, what kind of seeds you got? Oh, you got one onion seed. Thanks, old man. Um, okay, you have 19 carrots, that's perfect, and we'll buy those from you, and that's all I need from you. Alright, so, yeah. So, we're, so, again, I don't really know where, where we're gonna go here, 
but you know, it'll be fun to see because I do, I'm trying to, I have enough money to buy some of the makers, um, I'm gonna buy some of the maker sheds. Some of the, well, you know, they are maker sheds, but buy some of the other sheds that I wanted to buy. Namely, the cheese shed and the greenhouse, because we can have some cheese, Gwamet! Cheese! Oh, wooden stuff here. Um, let's see, any twigs? I need, any twigs I can get for fertilizer would be great. I think a small ones are twigs, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I don't have much energy to... Oh, I caught a, I caught a locust by accident! <laughs> I don't think I have much energy to um, go ahead and willy-nilly start um, um, chopping away at, the, at some wood. Um, on, the, on our farm, I got rid of over half the trees on our second plot of land. So that'll be great for when we start expanding for more buildings and growing some more uh, crops over there. I can't, my one thing I dislike about this game sometimes is how hard it is to make fertilizer. Like it has to either be twigs or weeds. And I'm having a hard time actually grinding up on twigs and weeds. So, yeah, there's that. So, let's see, the next best to watch it right now is going to be the, um, the fishing tournament. Yay! Oh, and no trade venues will be in town that day either. That's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, between 7 and 10 a.m. Let's see who's me with the true Fisher King. Register be able to be between 7 and within the time limit. Okay. Well, I guess I will do that fishing challenge and see how bad of a fisherman I truly am. <laughs> and then from there, actually, let's see. What, what, what venues will be here? Only the wheat country. I think they actually sell one of the uh, sheds I want to build anyway, so that's gonna be good for us. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and let's go to sleep and bring about the fishing festival. Um, let's see. Today is the fishing festival. Oh, it's a tournament. Yay! We're gonna lose horribly in that. Okay, registration opens in one hour, so that's fine. But hey, at least we got some products right to show Iris's um, flower event. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show, before I pick up, pick a waifu to wife. <laughs> I'm going to actually show off all of the girls' um, white and purple flower events. I don't know if I'll show off the, the ring proposal events for all the girls. Um, I mean, in theory, I could if they're all up to a blue flower. Um, because I actually have, <laughs> I have actually um, Angela up to a green flower. Which was by complete mistake, mind you. Because I was trying to keep her at a blue one, so I don't feel bad if I don't actually end up dating her. But eh, we'll see how that goes. I do, my personal preference in this game is Angela, but I want to see some of the other girls' flower events before I make my, make my final call on which one I would actually try to court. Um, again, any feedback down in the comment section would be great. I know my retro has said a gate, but I'll be quite honest, I actually think a gate out of all of the girls is the most boring. I mean, she's cute, I love her personality, but I don't know, it's like, in every Harvest Moon game, there is that one girl who is obsessed with, um, with flowers and, not flowers, um, farm animals and animals and farming and stuff. And that makes sense, because, you know, you, they want to make it, you know, a, a relatable character to the main character who is, who is also a farmer. Like, you know, in other Harvest Moon games, you had Ellen, who would run, who would help run, um, different farms around the towns. Um, and Harvest Moon, um, A Wonderful Life, you have Cecilia, who helped run, you know, the rival farm in, in Forget-Me-Not Valley, and so on. So there's always that one girl in the series who, um, who always, who's always about the animals, always about, you know, farming. And that's what, that's kind of the trope in the series I kind of dislike, like, in, in, um... Like, in a, um, a, in a Wonderful Life, um, I always would marry Cecilia, but then again, her competition was Muffy and Nami, and, eh, to be fair, I mean, well, okay, I like Nami, but Muffy I actually really didn't like in, um, A Wonderful Life, but we're not talking about Wonderful Life, we're talking about Story of Seasons. Alright, do you want to participate? Sure, why not? Exit the festival will begin shortly, please wait just a moment. Alright. Welcome, everyone, to the, this year's fishing tournament. Allow me to introduce our hopeful heroes of Rod and Reel. Entry number one, some random stranger who doesn't live in this town, Schultz. Entry number two, Maurice. Entry number three, a gate. She'll probably win. Entry number four, Gamma Farms Pat. Thank you, thank you, you're all too kind, even though I'm gonna lose this this horribly. Contestants will have four hours and okay. Okay, this will have a total of four hours and many and may fish at any fishing point they like. Now, without any further ado, let's get fishing. Alright, we got four hours, so about roughly um four minutes. Alright, that's uh, that's pretty that's fine. Let's see. Any let's see what we can get over here. 
Oh yeah, I forgot the fishing points have to actually be at those, um, at those, uh, okay, at those dockyards. Like, I can go to my farm, actually, but I don't get caught on the rocks. I should actually go to my farm to try fishing, to be honest. And what I wish they would actually allow you to do with these things, they should allow you to just have quick jump points to go from fishing point to fishing point. Oh well, so let's see here. Ready to catch anything? Oh, there we go. Oh, I forgot. I have to. I have to mash the A button, not hold it down. I'm. I have not gone fishing in this game in so long that I've completely forgot how to fish. We have pretty much thrown away this contest. I've seen our first fish. I bet it's be the biggest fish that, were, that ever was, too. All right, come on. Yeah, there we go. All right, caught a freshwater pro. Okay, now screw the spot. No, we're gonna get to only catch those things. I wonder if we can actually get to our farm to fish, because that would be the best spot. I mean, technically speaking, fishing on our own farm would probably be considered as cheating, but you know who's really counting. <laughs> um, let's see, is that, do I, know, I know there's a river up here. Yeah, there is, but I never knew where the fishing spot out. Oh, well, hi again, can we just share? No? Okay. That's fine. Actually... I'm wasting time here. I'm gonna go back to that one spot because I feel like someone is gonna be that cheeky little scrub and is sitting at my farm fishing. I'm gonna guarantee it's someone. It's, it's gonna be that no-name guy who doesn't even live in this town who's sitting at my farm fishing away there. Okay, that's fine. We'll just stay here. I feel like this, this is actually where you're meant to fish. If that is the case, then fishing just kind of becomes RNG unless you have some good fishing bait, which, uh, spoiler alert, I didn't think to actually put out any. A nine centimeter... Oh, great. We're, we are gonna lose this horribly. Uh, I should've put out some fishing bait. Because originally I had no intention of participating in this festival because, well, I have horrible luck in festivals. And I was just gonna, um, skip ahead and start recording at a, at a different point in time. But, ooh, hello! Oh, we got 96 of your salmon! Holy cow! Okay, that's, um, that's actually pretty cool. Someone else will catch something that's 97 centimeters. That'll be the first place, uh, fish. Guaranteeing it. But, um... Like I was saying, I wasn't intending to record this soon, but hey, here we are, and I'm glad I am. So, um, there was something else I wanted to mention. Actually, yeah, something I, I want to talk about since we have some time while we're fishing is something in Harvest Moon that I, I have noticed, is that it is time in the series. Um, in games like A Wonderful, Lo in a Wonderful Life and Story of Seasons and A New Beginning, um, time actually goes up by every second is one minute. But in games like Friends of Mineral Town, Harvest Moon DS, and some of the other games like that, time actually goes up in increments of 10 minutes every fixed amount of seconds. Now, I honestly don't know which one I prefer. Um, in the one in the Friends of Mineral Town um, format, where time's only you know every 10 minutes goes up every 10 minutes, when you're inside a building, time stops, allowing you to level up your your tools inside of buildings a lot easier, and yada yada yada. But in these games, you have they go up every second in, um, incrementally, even inside of buildings. And I don't know, I don't know which one I actually prefer more. Um, I, I understand why that they're doing the, this, you know, one second goes one minute mechanic, but I feel like, oh, my, is my, my inventory's full, isn't it? Fantastic, my inventory's full, and we still have, an, we still have another minute left of the festival. <laughs> oh, oh man, I am such a wiener. Okay, well... I don't know, maybe, maybe, at least, at least I think we won't come in last place, I hope, I pray, we probably will, but yeah, um, but anyway, back to time, actually I'll probably talk more on that later, but yeah, I don't know which one I prefer, I've always enjoyed, um, you know, the, the um, the second, oh, caught us eight, oh, okay, so the fish didn't get away, but I always enjoyed, um, the, um, second time for different reasons, because it gives me more time to plan out my day, and, you know, be a bit more organized. In the 10-minute segments, I feel like the days there are can be... I know for a fact they're shorter than the 24-minute days that you have in um, regular... in these games in, in A Wonderful Life. So, I just really don't know which one's better for the series as a whole. So, that was my fishing story, and we got pretty much all, all that done. Let's see how bad we placed. Well done, everyone. We'll now judge everyone's catches. All right, let's see. Ladies and gentlemen, it seems judging has concluded. I will now announce the winners. The winner for for most fish caught is oh, I thought it was for bigger biggest fish caught, not most. I only caught four. A gate with sixteen fish caught. Congratulations. I only. Okay, well I didn't come in last place at least. But 
A largest fish caught. Okay, come on. Let me take that gold. Let me have something out of this. Nope, Maurice has caught a fish measuring 263 centimeters. And third place again was me. So basically, Gate caught all the tiny little fishes while I caught some big ones. <sighs> well, at least I can say this. In both festivals, I didn't come in last place. That's all that matters. <laughs> in, both, in, both, in both categories. All right, uh, let's go ahead and talk to, um, let's go talk to you so we can get a little boost for talking to you after a festival. You might not have won, but I think you did a, you did a okay, Pat. Fishing looks really hard. Maybe there, there's some kind of trick to it. Yeah, uh, fishing bait. But again, I didn't really anticipate participating in this festival. Oh, hell, I forgot about licorice is over here, too. Right, I'm just an observer in this air, in this arena, so I really can't say how important it is to know you, you have raw talent. But I guess knowing you, ha you have what it takes to win a contest can be important to, uh, to those who decide to enter. Alright. Well, and also, like I was saying before, Porrigate has a, has a green flower for us. Are you good at fishing? That's quite impressive. Fishing is not an easy sport to master. The angle and speed at which, you, which your hook hits the water and fish species present uh, at their habits, and uh, when and how hard to pull back. There are so many details one must keep in mind at all times that I can never find the confidence to give it a try. Well, at least you're aware of it, Angela, like a lot of people in this town. But, um, yeah, that gives it for the fishing festival. Or right, yeah, we're gonna go out and leave. And I don't think any trade venues were in town for this festival. And I really, um, have to actually have to go, go back to my, ha um, town and water my plants. Not back to my town, back to my farms. So I decided to just come right here and skip all my farming responsibilities just to go fishing. I am such a great A farmer. So I think I'm going to cut ahead until the next day, and I'll meet you guys back here momentarily. Now, I probably should have just called it an episode earlier, but hey, what the, what the heck. Let's go ahead and talk to Kenneth here and see if we have any, um, let's see, buy items. We're gonna buy a blueprint. I forgot which blueprint he had that I wanted. Uh, let's see, gardening, paths, houses, facilities. Okay, he has a spice factory, but we don't have any, we don't have the spice chili yet, so it's not worth buying. But he has the greenhouse, and that is something I actually want to actually buy from him. So we're going to buy the greenhouse blueprint, yes, we're sure we want that, and we're now flat broke, pretty much. So I think in the next episode, we'll probably focus our, our attention on getting the items needed to create the spice, uh, spice factory, the greenhouse. Um, I will probably get, acquire the remaining items off screen, so um, don't, don't worry about watching me having to struggle finding everything that I really need. Um, let's see, how much of these could go for? Yeah, those didn't really sell for much. That's fine. But, um, yeah, so things are actually going pretty well right now. And like I said, this series will be back, um, temporarily until my next main Let's Play will start. Which, um, is, unless they tell me otherwise, won't start till mid-July because of embargoes. Which, again, suck, but hey, you know, I don't mind abiding by them. They're, you know, they're in agreement. I got the, I got a game early. I just want to abide by the rules. It's nothing really too, um, too holy cow. The value of rings are very high right now. They can back a lot of money there. Um, I went to the... I'm, I, I, I also been neglecting the Safari Zone, but um, I've been going back there a lot more often. But like I said, again, the rules I have, to, I have to abide by aren't really hard, and it's to be patient. And I really can't wait for my next Let's Play to start, because I'm really excited to, to share that one with you guys. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for today's episode of Story of Seasons. Like I said, if there's anything in particular you want to see from me that, um, in this series, by all means, leave it down in the comment section below, because I really don't know... Um, Oh, we, okay, we got some, I think we, he complimented us or something, I was too busy talking to actually read that, but, um, yeah, by all means, leave a comment down in the comment section below, let me know what you guys think of the series so far, if you have any questions or requests, I'll try my best to abide by them, see what I can do, because I'm really unsure where to go from here in this Let's Play, but also be sure to subscribe for future episodes in this Let's Play, and check out some of the other older and longer ones, um, if you're new to the series, and as always, everyone, this is Gamma Lad signing off.